Okay, so welcome to this video. Uh, so today we are going to be solving this kind of geometric puzzle. As you can see, we have a square uh, with nine small squares inside it. We have this uh, line here subtending an angle X. We have this line here, the blue line, subtending an angle Y. And finally, we have this angle Z sub uh, uh, for this green line. And our goal is to find the sum of the angles X, Y, and Z. Alright, so uh, the strategy that I'm going to use here, let me first draw out these triangles. So I have this with angle X. Alright, that's the first one. Then I have the blue one uh, with angle Y. Okay, and I have this, the green one. And the angle here is Z. All these are right angles. So arbitrarily, I'm going to assign the length of these sides of the first small square here to be one unit each. So this is one unit, one unit. Of course, I could just use any other length. I will use one for simplicity. So by that, I can say that the tan of X is one over 1, so x is just 45 degrees. That's easy for me to, to get, even without using a calculator. I mean, it's a known trig ratio that tan of x uh, equals 1, x would be 45 degrees. So for the second triangle, this is 1 unit, this. But of course, this is 1, 2 units. So the opposite is 2 units. I have 1 unit, 2 units here. So the tan of y is 2 divided by 1, which is 2. And for this uh, angle z, you can see this is 1 unit here. But this is 1, 2, 3 units. So this is 3 units here. So the tan of z is 3 over 1 units, which is 3 units. Okay, so as you can see, I cannot find the tan of uh, y without using a calculator. I cannot find angle y here. Oops, neither can I find angle z without using a calculator. And I really don't want to use a calculator here. So let's try this. So I'm going to get tan of y plus z. Of course, we know this is tan of y plus tan of z divided by 1 minus tan y tan z and this is going to be so tan y is uh we've just seen that's a two tan z is a three this divided by one minus two times three so that's going to be five divided by negative five which is actually negative one so just come back here uh we just seen the tan of y plus z is negative 1. So that means y plus z is arc tan of negative 1. So the first angle here is negative 45 and then the next is 135. Uh, the reason I take 135 and not negative 45 is just because um, if I take negative 45 then the sum would be zero, which, um, of course, we can explain that geometrically, but to keep things simple, I'll take 135. All right, so you can now see where we're heading. So x plus y plus z is essentially going to be 45 plus 135, which is 180 degrees. Okay, thanks for watching this video. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Uh, leave for me a comment to let me know what you think. I'll see you in my next video.